This is the plug and play DIY solar kit from Craftstrom Solar. And this video, I'm going to show you how you can take it from this to something like this. If you're slightly more DIY inclined, you can save a pretty good chunk of money combining some of the elements of the Craftstrom solar kit with some DIY elements and speed up your return on investment all the quicker. What I'm about to show you is in no way trying to tell you that the solar panels that you get from Craftstrom are bad. In fact, they're amazing. They've been designed from the ground up so that they are extremely light, somewhat flexible, um, but uh, they've got this very cool aluminum frame going around them to add strength and rigidity where it really counts. So if you want just a very lightweight solar panel that has a stand that is fully adjustable and angle. Maybe you even want to be able to pick it up and move it around as needed. Or if you're just someone that has an apartment with a sunny balcony and you're truly going to do, you know, balcony solar, these panels are a no-brainer. You don't want to be trying to hang a 60, 70, 80 pound glass solar panel on your balcony. That's just asking for trouble. These are also perfect if you want to just buy a kit, have it shipped to your door and be done with it and uh, have instructions and support and help to get this set up. If you do what you're about to see me do, you're going to need to adopt a little more of a DIY attitude. Both Craftstrom and I have a similar philosophy. We want to try to get solar into as many people's hands as possible. It's been far too long since it's been kind of an elite thing for people to have, and we need more energy independence. That's why I try to make so many different videos about so many different options, so that uh, hopefully there's some solution out there for uh, everyone. Craftstrom believes the same thing. They'd rather you buy some inverters and a smart power meter, the critical components to make the system work, and uh, source solar panels from alternative locations, solar panel stands, whatever, if that means that uh, you're able to get on the bandwagon and start saving some money on your electric bill. Of course, they'd love you to buy the entire kit, solar panels included. But they are 100% supportive in the idea that something is better than nothing. So I'm going to have links down in the description to entire Craftstrom kits that include all that you need, including the solar panels. And then I'm also going to have a link down below that has links to individual components so that uh, if you decide to go the slightly more heavy DIY way, you can get uh, the components that you still need. The most rudimentary thing you could do would be to buy some of these rigid panels and throw them on the ground like I've done here. No solar panel stand, nothing. These are each 200 watts, so they're the same power as the Craftstrom ones. You can see on the back side here, they are bifacial. And much like the Craftstrom solar panels, you just connect these in parallel to each other per microinverter. So we'll put 400 watts on one microinverter, 400 watts on another one. These solar panels are from Callsun. I'll leave a link for them down in the description. The reason these panels would be the solution for everyone out there, regardless of where you live, is you can just get on Amazon and order these and they ship right to your door. And then for maximum cost savings, you can just throw them out on the ground like I've done here. I have a fence to prop them up against. You could uh, create, you know, a rudimentary something to hold them, but uh, they do not come with any kind of stands or anything. Now you certainly could, and I've got a solution over here that uh, I'm gonna show you that uh, works very well with these panels as well. But as soon as you start adding a bunch of accessories, you start to slowly eat into your savings and you start asking yourself the question, well, maybe I should just go with the standard kit from Craftstrom. The most cost-effective solution, but this takes a little more footwork, is full-size residential panels. And guys, I apologize, it's a Saturday here, and uh, it's the fall, the leaves are dropping like crazy on the trees, and I've got neighbors with leaf blowers and lawn mowers and all kinds of stuff, so forgive the noise, but uh, I need to get this filmed while I have time to film it. If you live in the state of Utah or are just driving through the state of Utah, more specifically kind of the Salt Lake area, I can hook you up with some incredible solar panel deals. We're talking full-size residential panels in the 400 watt-ish range for around 100 bucks. Payoff Solar sells them for a great price and you can just pick them up and not pay for any shipping or anything. So I'll be sure and leave a link to them down in the description so you can get yourself some cheap panels. Shipping solar panels is very expensive. And while these panels here from Amazon are a really smoking deal cost-wise for online solar panels, at least from my connection here in Utah, you can pick up one of these panels that's equivalent to two of those for literally the cost of one of those panels. So check around you, you might have a solar 
panel supplier like I do that's nearby and will sell you legit full-size panels for cheap. Now these are not easy to move. They weigh a ton. So you're not going to be picking them up like you can with the Craftstrom solar panels and moving it all over the place. Of course you can move it. I moved this over here today for this video. But bear in mind that uh, big panels are heavy. Smaller panels are lighter, but they're still considerably heavier with the glass and everything compared to Craftstrom's very cool engineered design over here. Now certainly you can take a big panel like this and uh, throw it out on the ground or lean it up against the fence or whatever and call it done just like I've done there. That's great. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can get these very cool stands and these work with large panels like I've got right here or they'll even work on the call send panels too. But there's some benefits to this. One, notice if you get the front legs, it boosts the solar panel up off the ground. That helps with two things. Thing number one, if you get snow, it's going to allow a little bit of space for the snow to slough off. You'll probably still have to clear it, but you've just you've got a little bit of space before it's completely blocking the panel. But uh, even without snow, take a look at these. I don't know if you can see, but uh, the grass is actually casting a shadow on this Carlson solar panel. You can see it's happening over here too. A leaf blew up onto the corner right there and is blocking a piece of a solar cell. So even without snow, uh, I'm probably gonna get reduced performance with these because they're so close to the ground and grass and leaves and whatnot can kind of cause issues for my pro solar production. A stand like this mitigates all of that. It also allows you to place the solar panel any way you want. I could put it way out here in the middle and still get a good angle on the sun, much like the stands here on the Craftstrom solar panels. Whereas if you're going stand free, you got to have something to lean it against or they have to lay flat. And that's less than ideal most of the year, unless you just happen to live somewhere where the sun is always shining straight up and down. So we've got these epic front uh, stands here that boost the front up. Those are optional. And then on the back here, I've got, and it's kind of bright, but I've got this uh, telescoping stand. I've extended it one entire length up, but I could actually go twice as tall and uh, increase the angle of the panel all the more. But uh, this gives you incredible adjustability up and down at this angle. And then this is also a pivot point, so you can actually tweak the angle uh, at this point as well. And just uh, dial in your solar panel angle. Now, I've just deployed this temporarily, but uh, the, the kit uh, that you get with these stands includes some really nice uh, heavy duty tie down straps and uh, stakes so that uh, you can anchor this really good and uh, prevent uh, wind from blowing your solar panel around. So I love these stands. Anyone that uh, has been part of the channel for any length of time has seen them a lot in a lot of my videos. I think they're well worth the investment, but being brutally honest, if you're trying to save every penny and maximize the speed of your return on investment, you should not do any of the stands and just throw the solar panel somewhere against a fence or something like that. I will have links to these stands down in the description. They're from Powered Portable Solar. Like I said, speaking for me personally, the investment and the flexibility and the way it makes it me be able to deploy these panels in a semi-permanent fashion, but to still be able to take them down and move them and whatnot is well worth the investment in my mind. But that's just my opinion. So anyway, check them out and uh, you make a decision for yourself. I'll also be sure and leave a link to the video on the full review on these stands and uh, so you can see how to put them on and how they work. So be sure and check that video out. These solar panels are from Carlson. They are the cheapest, best bang for your buck, highest performing solar panel available on Amazon today. So if you want uh, some solar panels that you can just buy online at Amazon and have them shipped to your door, look no further than these. I'll leave links to them down in the description. I'll also leave a video to my full review video on these panels so you can see their exact uh, performance and metrics. They're very impressive. So just with this current haphazard setup right now, that kit is producing 477 watts of power. And it may be getting throttled slightly because you can see that I pretty much eliminated all of the power being pulled from phase one. So if there's any doubt that uh, glass panels work with the Craftstrom kit, doubt no longer. The fact of the matter is DC power is DC power and the inverters can tell the difference from the DC power being generated by these panels versus the DC power being generated from these panels. I'll show you a few cons using either a full size panel or one of these smaller 200 watt panels. The cons are universal. Con number one, we don't have the Craftstrom solar stand that this is designed to connect to. So you can see the inverter is just kind of flapping in the breeze here. Perhaps you could uh, drill some holes or whatnot uh, through the frame of the panel 
to create a mounting point for that. I would just say be careful. It's so hard to drill through and when you go through not slip and drill into the back of your solar cells. That would be a bad day. These inverters have a big heat sink here on the back. They kind of need to breathe. So I would not recommend doing what I'm doing right now and just laying them on the ground. I think you really need to mount it somewhere and there's no good way to mount it like you can see here from this clip when I installed it with the Kreftstrom solar panels. There's a perfect place that mounts it, keeps it in the air so it ventilates and stays cool and uh, doesn't, you know, burn your grass or, or whatever. Con number two, you need to be able to mount this megahertz antenna and it has a magnetic base and connects to the Kraftstrom solar panels because they have magnetic properties on them. This sticks to nothing. Aluminum in and of itself is not magnetic. So for my testing here on the stand, I've literally just stuck it kind of here haphazardly. This one for the call sun panels is sitting in my bushes right there. So you got to figure out some solution for that antenna. Come on, just to add in favor of the craft room solar panels and their stands. You can't beat how clean that looks. It looks really, really classy. So there's certainly some value in the aesthetics and classy look that uh, this gives you that needs to be factored into your considerations. So let me show you this fascinating pricing comparison. Important to note that these prices are current at the time of making this video and they do not reflect any kind of savings you would get using my coupon codes down in the description as well as any taxes or shipping that may apply. So first you can just buy two 200 watt Craftstrom solar panel without any stands and just, you know, throw them out there in your yard and that costs $524. Next, you can buy two 200 watt from solar panels for a total of 400 watts plus their racks and that will cost $633.99. Next you can buy two 200 watt Kalsen solar panels from Amazon and at the time of making this video they cost $309.99. Or you can buy two 200 watt Kalsen solar panels for a total of 400 watts plus two stand kits from Powered Portable Solar and this is also assuming you are going big or going home and buying the front and the back legs. You can only buy the back telescoping legs if you'd like and save some money and not buy the front leg. But I personally think that the front legs are good as I showed in the video. You need two sets of those because you have two solar panels from Kalsen, so that's going to cost $589.79. By contrast, you can buy a 405 watt panel from Payoff Solar for 99 bucks, and that's before my coupon code, which saves even more. And then you can go ahead and get a single 405 watt panel from Payoff Solar plus just one stand kit. Now we're only putting the stand on a single panel, right? And that costs $238.90. So you can see there is a vast range of costs depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it. <laughs> And so now, if we take into consideration everything with the big picture, if you were to buy a entry-level 800-watt Craftstrom full kit, that includes everything, two inverters, smart power meter, four solar panels, four stands, cables, all of that. At the time of making this video, $2,031.80. By contrast, if you were to just purchase the components that do you need for an 800 watt kit, so two solar inverters, cables for those inverters, power meter, you'd pay $1,060.99. And 99 cents. But then we also need to add solar panels. And again, this is for an 800 watt kit. So coming back to this here, we would need to buy two of these 405 watt panels. So basically 200 bucks. Or we need to buy you know two of these. So we'd be over 400, knocking on the door of 500 dollars extra here. Or you need to buy two of these, so an extra 600 plus dollars uh, of solar panels need to be added to the cost of this. So just bear that in mind. Now even still, let's just say you got the $600 worth of, you know, call send solar panels. You're still going to be less than this, uh, but, uh, you know, you're, you're starting to creep up there. So sound off in the comments, you guys. Which of the three options of the panels are you going to choose? The Craftroom solar panels? The cheap Amazon panels? or full-size residential panels. And do you think you'd put the stands on them or not? I'd be very interested in hearing your observations and thoughts. I hope this answered a lot of your burning questions on if you can use standard glass panels with it.
yep, works great. And there is some cost benefit to there as well, while still giving you all the function and benefits of the Craftroom system. So don't forget to check out the links to the individual components down in the description, as well as uh, links to some of these uh, solar items so that uh, you can take advantage of getting cheap solar power running at your house. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype the five free things that really benefit the channel. All right, stay safe and we'll catch y'all next time.